Keep on keeping on until the day breaks and the shadows flee away. The miracle working powers of your subconscious mind existed before you and I were born. All you have to do is unite mentally and emotionally with the good you wish to embody, and the creative powers of your subconscious will respond accordingly. A magnetized piece of steel will lift about 12 times its own weight, and if you demagnetize this same piece of steel, it will not even lift a feather. Similarly, there are two types of men. There is the magnetized man who is full of confidence and faith. He knows that he is born to win and to succeed. Then, there is the type of man who is demagnetized. He is full of fears and doubts. Opportunities come, and he says, I might fail. I might lose money. People will laugh at me. This type of man will not get very far in life, because if he is afraid to go forward, he will simply stay where he is. There is a gold mine within you, from which you can extract everything you need to live life gloriously. Infinite riches are all around you if you will open your mental eyes and behold the treasure house of infinity within you. What, in your opinion, is the master secret of the ages? The secret of atomic energy, thermonuclear energy, the neutron bomb, interplanetary travel. No, not any of these. Then, what is this master secret? Where can one find it? And how can it be contacted and brought into action? The answer is extraordinarily simple. This secret is the marvelous miracle working power found in your own subconscious mind, the last place that most people would seek it. You can bring into your life more power, more wealth, more health, more happiness and more joy by learning to contact and release the hidden power of your subconscious mind. You need not acquire this power. You already possess it. You want to learn how to use it. You want to understand it so that you can apply it in all departments of your life. You can gain the necessary knowledge and understanding. You can be inspired by a new light and you can generate a new force enabling you to realize your hopes and make all your dreams come true. Within your subconscious depths lies infinite wisdom, infinite power and infinite supply of all that is necessary, which is waiting for development and expression. There is a miraculous healing power in your subconscious that can heal the troubled mind and the broken heart. It can open the prison door of the mind and liberate you. It can free you from all kinds of material and physical bondage. You must not think that the principles of chemistry, physics and mathematics differ from the principles of your subconscious mind. Let us consider a generally accepted principle. Water seeks its own level. This is a universal principle which is applicable to water everywhere. Matter expands when heated. This is true everywhere, at any time, and under all circumstances. It is also a universal truth that whatever you impress on your subconscious mind is expressed on the screen of space as condition, experience and event. Your subconscious mind is principle and works according to the law of belief. You must know what belief is, why it works and how it works. The law of your mind is the law of belief. This means to believe in the way your mind works, to believe in belief itself. The belief of your mind is the thought of your mind that is simple, just that and nothing else. All your experiences, events, conditions and acts are the reactions of your subconscious mind to your thoughts. Remember, it is not the thing believed in, but the belief in your own mind, which brings about the result. 
Cease believing in the false beliefs, opinions, superstitions, and fears of mankind. Begin to believe in the eternal verities and truths of life, which never change. Thought is incipient action. The reaction is the response from your subconscious mind, which corresponds with the nature of your thought. You are a gardener and you are planting seeds, thoughts, in your subconscious mind all day long based on your habitual thinking. As you sow in your subconscious mind, so shall you reap in your body and environment. Think quietly and with interest on these qualities and accept them fully in your conscious reasoning mind. Continue to plant these wonderful seeds, thoughts as in the garden of your mind, and you will reap a glorious harvest. Your subconscious mind may be likened to soil, which will grow all kinds of seeds, good or bad. Every thought is therefore a cause, and every condition is an effect. For this reason, it is essential that you take charge of your thoughts, so as to bring forth only desirable conditions. When your mind thinks correctly, when you understand the truth, when the thoughts deposited in your subconscious mind are constructive, harmonious and peaceful, the magic working power of your subconscious will respond and bring about harmonious conditions, agreeable surroundings, and the best of everything. In order to change external conditions, you must change the cause. Most men try to change conditions and circumstances by working with conditions and circumstances. To remove discord, confusion, lack and limitation, you must remove the cause, and the cause is the way you are using your conscious mind, the way you are thinking and picturing in your mind. You are living in a fathomless sea of infinite riches. Your subconscious is every sensitive to your thoughts. Your thoughts form the mold or matrix through which the infinite intelligence, wisdom, vital forces and energies of your subconscious flow. Your subconscious mind is reactive and responds to the nature of your thoughts. When your conscious mind, the little me, is full of fear, worry and anxiety, the negative emotions engendered in your subconscious mind, the big me, are released and flood the conscious mind with a sense of panic, foreboding and despair. You will perceive the main differences by the following illustration. The conscious mind is like the navigator or captain at the bridge of a ship. He directs the ship and signals orders to men in the engine room, who in turn control all the boilers, instruments, gauges, etc. The men in the engine room do not know where they are going. They follow orders. They would go on the rocks if the man in the bridge issued faulty or wrong instructions based on his findings with the compass, sextant or other instruments. The men in the engine room obey him because he is in charge and issues orders which are automatically obeyed. Members of the crew do not talk back to the captain, they simply carry out orders. The captain is the master of his ship and his decrees are carried out. Likewise, your conscious mind is the captain and the master of your ship, which represents your body, environment and all your affairs. Your subconscious mind takes the orders you give it based upon what your conscious mind believes and accepts as true. The great secret possessed by the great men of all ages was their ability to contact and release the powers of their subconscious mind. You can do the same. Every thought is a cause and every condition is an effect. You are like a captain navigating a ship. He must give the right orders, and likewise, you must give the right orders, thoughts and images, to your subconscious mind, which controls and governs all your experiences. Never use the terms, I can't afford it, or I can't do this. Your subconscious mind takes you at your word, and sees to it that you do not have the money or the ability to do what you want to do.
Affirm, I can do all things through the power of my subconscious mind. The law of life is the law of belief. A belief is a thought in your mind. Change your thoughts and you change your destiny. Begin now to recognize these potentialities of your deeper mind and they will take form in the world without. The infinite intelligence within your subconscious mind can reveal to you everything you need to know at every moment of time and point of space, provided you are open-minded and receptive. You have a mind, and you should learn how to use it. There are two levels of your mind, the conscious or rational level and the subconscious or irrational level. You must remember that these are not two minds. They are merely two spheres of activity within one mind. Your conscious mind is the reasoning mind. It is that phase of mind which chooses. For example, you choose your books, your home and your partner in life. You make all your decisions with your conscious mind. On the other hand, without any conscious choice on your part, your heart is kept functioning automatically and the process of digestion, circulation and breathing are carried on by your subconscious mind through processes independent of your conscious control. Your subconscious mind accepts what is impressed upon it or what you consciously believe. It does not reason things out like your conscious mind and it does not argue with you controversially. Your subconscious mind is like the soil which accepts any kind of seed good or bad. Your thoughts are active and might be likened unto seeds. Negative, destructive thoughts continue to work negatively in your subconscious mind and in due time will come forth into outer experience, which corresponds with them. Remember, your subconscious mind does not engage in proving whether your thoughts are good or bad, true or false but it responds according to the nature of your thoughts or suggestions. You think with your conscious mind, and whatever you habitually think sinks down into your subconscious mind, which creates according to the nature of your thoughts. Your subconscious mind is the seat of your emotions and is the creative mind. The main point to remember is once the subconscious mind accepts an idea, it begins to execute it. It is an interesting and subtle truth that the law of the subconscious mind works for good and bad ideas alike. This law, when applied in a negative way, is the cause of failure, frustration and unhappiness. The law of your mind is this. You will get a reaction or response from your subconscious mind according to the nature of the thought or idea you hold in your conscious mind. If you have conveyed erroneous thoughts to your subconscious mind, the sure method of overcoming them is by the repetition of constructive, harmonious thoughts frequently repeated, which your subconscious mind accepts, thus forming new and healthy habits of thought and life, for your subconscious mind is the seat of habit. The habitual thinking of your conscious mind establishes deep grooves in your subconscious mind. This is very favorable for you if your habitual thoughts are harmonious peaceful and constructive. If you have indulged in fear, worry and other destructive forms of thinking, the remedy is to recognize the omnipotence of your subconscious mind, your subconscious mind, being creative and one with your divine source, will proceed to create the freedom and happiness which you have earnestly decreed. You must realize by now that your conscious mind is the watchman at the gate and its chief function is to protect your subconscious mind from false impressions, 